This video will show you how to use the free t-shirt template to output your SEPs and also create a worksheet proof for your customer approval all in one file. The swatch palette already has the text source gen colors included for convenience. These are spot colors meaning they will work for your output to your PostScript film printer. This template has three artboards labeled left to right, proof, front, and back. The bottom layer labeled info has all the guides and text within the template and the top layer is for the art. Pasting this four color design into the art layer, I want to size then position it to center on the template. Using the one inch guides, I will drop it down two and a half inches on the template to coincide with the position of the print under the collar. We can see in the separations preview that it is set to CMYK, so it's time to recolor everything to the spot colors. If I select all the blue in the design, I can simply click the color I want in the swatch palette, which is reflex blue. You can now see it appear in the separations preview where we can hide the color at will. Next, I will select the green and pick Dallas green as the spot color. Now the red, I'll go with the scarlet. For the gold, I will choose the lemon yellow swatch first and create a copy of it. Double clicking the swatch allows me to rename it. Let's go with 1235 athletic gold, very common color. Adjust the visual of it using the CMYK sliders. Now we can color the diamond shapes this new color. The info block for the film can have anything you want. I'm filling in the X's with the job number and noting this is a front four color design. Type in your print colors in sequence and then color each individually so only that color shows up on your films. Whereas everything else in black is set to registration color and will appear on all films. Every shop is different, but distribute the registration marks as you see fit. For the proof, I make a copy of the color sequence and paste it onto the proof artboard. Then I start filling out all the info in the boxes. You can customize this to anything, but this is a good start. The more detail you have within the proof, the less chance of a mistake. And once completed, this artboard can be saved off as a PDF to send to your customer and then a worksheet for the screen and printing department. Okay, this looks good. Time to save the whole file in Illustrator format. Now save as a PDF file, but choose range and type in one. This will save your proof artboard as a printable, emailable file. Now save your file as an EPS and selecting Use Artboards, and in this case, Range 2, which is the front design. This will create an EPS file of the single artboard going to film in the four spot colors defined. 